Well, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya, and today we're gonna be working on some spring and Easter DIYs. Let's go ahead and jump into DIY number one. For this design, we're gonna be making a yarn bunny wall art and it turned out so beautiful. What you'll need for this design is one of the bunny wire wreath rims, a 12 cup plastic bowl, some yarn of your choice, and some of that beautiful greenery that they have at Dollar Tree. Everyone, all of these designs are Dollar Tree items and they're great. Now you can see I cut that bowl in half and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that lid back on it. And what I'm trying to do is just get that wreath rim in the center. I went ahead and glued the lid on so it would stay securely. And then we're gonna be taking some zip ties and zip tying this on after I take and use my wood burner to pop some holes in there. This was so simple, everyone, and the results were so beautiful for this design. Now, you don't have to worry about this being perfect. There, You can see I have a little gap there, but that's okay because this is all gonna be covered in yarn. And just make sure that you have a window open when you uh, use that wood burner. You could probably just kind of poke a hole in there with um, maybe a knife or something, but the wood burner works great and it keeps it on there really, really secure. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, once I get my plastic bowl securely on my bunny wreath rim, is I'm gonna start tying on my yarn. Now, you can use whatever colors you want. I like to add in the green for my neutral decor, and I also have some gray in my home. Now you can see I'm just wrapping this every which way I can, and you'll have to glue a few spots down, but basically just keep wrapping. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another bunch of the yarn because I want this to have a really, really thick texture to it because I'm going to be using all those little areas of string you'll see here in a moment to pop in some greenery. Now, the first thing I'm going to do before we do that is I'm going to take that really white, white color of yarn and I want to wrap these ears in there and then I'm going to take and wrap a little different texture of yarn on there to really make it have that fuzzy look like a bunny. Everyone, I love how this design turned out. You'll have to let me know what you think of this one. Now, I'm gonna be taking some of that gray because I said I had the gray in my home, and I'm kind of making this look like it's a basket. And so I wrap some around the center there, and then I'm just gonna pull some strands down to just kind of give that illusion that it's a basket or maybe a bucket. And then we're gonna take some of the burlap, and they do have this, and I think it's in the Easter section there at Dollar Tree, and then I found some of that little thin burlap ribbon, and I just made a nice little area that made it look like a little pocket, but you can see how well that greenery pops down in that yarn because it's so thick. And this little bunny in this basket is just absolutely adorable hanging on the wall. Now you can put as much greenery as you want. I told you I'm a really big fan of this light colored greenery and it just looks so good with my decor. And a wonderful, fun design and I definitely hope that you're enjoying this one. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of those carnation flowers and just pop them right there in the center. And look how cute this is, it's displayed on my wall. It looks like the little bunny jumping in the basket and he's got his little white tail there. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna be creating this flower box. And I used the Garden of Whedon sign that I picked up the other day in my haul. And I love these cherry blossom stems. I'm just gonna take two of those little wood crates, add some of that Adirondack white chalk paint to that. And I'm gonna remove the string off of the back. And then I'm just gonna hot glue this on. This was another so fun and simple design. And I just love how this one turned out. Now I'm just gonna pop in a few of those foam blocks and some of that brown colored moss in there. 
And then I'm gonna start adding in some of my flowers. And everyone, you can add whichever type of flowers that you enjoy. I just really love these little cherry blossom because they have that creamy neutral color tone. And then what I like to do is get all of my taller branches in, you can see here. And then I will take and clip off little pieces of greenery from a different uh, floral bouquet and just pop them in as fillers along the bottom underneath and it just makes the prettiest arrangement. Well, everyone, once again, I want to thank all of you that have been subscribing to my channel. I noticed that it has really been growing over the past week, and I am so happy that you've been enjoying these DIYs, and I have several more of the spring and Easter decor to bring you over the next few weeks. And look how pretty this little box turned out. Such a cute little accent for the shelf. Now for our next design, we're gonna be creating these happy bunnies and they are so sweet. Once again, I'm using one of those signs that I picked up the other day and gonna be painting three of those styrofoam bunnies with the white and then I just used that linen color folk art paint and painted my boxes, added a little white paint to the sign and this one was another really simple design that just turned out so cute. Now I'm just gonna hot glue that sign onto the back of there, and then I'm gonna take some greenery and just pop in around these little bunnies. And this was just a really cute one to go on a shelf. You could put this in a bathroom or just on one of your decor shelves anywhere in your home. But it was such a sweet little design. And here it is displayed on my shelf. Well, everyone, I hope you're enjoying these DIYs today. And I hope you're still with me. We have a few more to go. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you're enjoying these and that you would consider doing so. And I appreciate all of the likes and comments. And please keep commenting. I love talking with each and every one of you. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna be just doing this simple little soap dish bunnies and I am gonna put this in my bathroom. I thought this was just so cute. And all we're gonna be doing is taking some of those moss bunnies and just gluing them onto the soap dish. And then I'm gonna add just a few little sprigs of my greenery on there and it give me just that cute little accent piece to set in the bathroom. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna be making this Bunny Love shelf decor piece, and it turned out so charming. Now I'm just gonna be using one of those little picture frames from Dollar Tree, taking that centerpiece out and using that really pretty shelf liner that I found the other day at Dollar Tree. Everyone, if you haven't checked out the shelf liner, definitely do so. Look how pretty this is in that green and white color. Now I'm gonna freshen up that frame with some white chalk paint and then just trim off those raw edges on my shelf liner and then just pop that right back in there. That actually fit in there pretty secure, but I put a little bit of glue on. And now I'm gonna use those moss bunnies again and add a couple of those heartwood cutouts that are, I love those that Dollar Tree is getting those in. I have several of them that I found at my Dollar Tree. And look how cute this is. And of course, you know me, I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery in there and put it on the shelf, and what a cute, simple little piece of decor for the Easter and spring season. Well, 
Well, everyone, for our last DIY, we're gonna do gathered the eggs, kitchen decor. And this was just a really fun and simple one. I took one of those a cardboard signs, painted it white, popped on a little bit of that contact paper in that real pretty light green and white. And then I just took some of those plastic eggs, painted them with that Adirondack white. And then I ended up taking some of those rub-on transfers with the succulents. And I decided just to use the black and white little floral stems to pop on each one of the eggs. And then you'll see here in a moment, I just took the word gather and popped on there. And I just thought this made a really sweet little piece of kitchen decor. And everyone, I do wanna ask if you are enjoying this type of decor, make sure you leave that in the comments below so I know to keep continuing doing the type of style that I am bringing to you. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's DIYs. If so, don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know if you had a favorite one. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, because that really does help YouTube notice my channel a bit more. Well, everyone, like always, we will have new DIYs every Saturday at 11 a.m. and we'll be doing haul videos or thrift with me and shop with me uh, videos at the first part of every week. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week and I will see you on the next one.